We are in the kitchen now with Chef Jeff Brown from Cotton Southern Bistro. Good morning, Chef. And Good oh morning. my goodness, we have so much we're cooking up today. We have so much to talk about. That's Why right. don't we start with we're, the food? We're busy. <laughs> yes. A lot going on. Yes, absolutely. We've got some fresh cobia, uh, local caught. That, that fish is very, very hot right now. It's right off the coast. Uh, a lot of anglers are getting on top of that fish right now, and they're having a good time. That's a great game fish, uh, sight casting, and we're we're proud to have a, a crack at them. And we're serving it this weekend on our uh, Father's Day buffet in Chesapeake, mm. and we'll also have it at Hilltop this weekend. We're open tomorrow morning, right. 7 a.m. We'll be so wide open. We'll be talking about your grand opening, Woo! and we'll be talking about Father's Day, and we'll be talking about all this goodness That's in right. front of us cooking we're it talk up. About liquor too. <laughs> all right, I can't wait to get started. That's right. Back now in the kitchen with Chef Jeff Brown from Cotton Southern Bistro. And we're making local blackened cobia this morning, and he's gearing up for a big grand opening tomorrow. Lots going on, and the bistro at Hilltop in Virginia Beach. That's, That's right. That's what we're talking about. We're opening right. tomorrow. I cannot wait. Woo, I can't wait. And so some of the stuff you'll be cooking up is some of the stuff we're cooking right, up right now. We've got now. some cobia right now. We're going to have some New York strips out there on the special boards. I've got some surprises to introduce Virginia Beach to the boy. Oh, so some new. Some new menu items? You know, people <laughs> in Virginia Beach were always like, ah, Chesapeake's so far away. Well, we brought it to you, so now your excuses nice. are, have run out. We'll see you tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. for breakfast. So right now we're working on the cobia. Tell me about right. cobia. I'm not too familiar cobia with this Cobia is a fish. coastal fish. Runs up. It's, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's a very steaky fish. Uh, it's not a fishy fish, as people like to say. Okay. I have no idea what that means, but. That's, <laughs> that's something I would say, fishy something, fish. It's something that they say, <laughs> and I don't know why they say it, but they say it a lot. But uh, it's it's very delicious. Uh, it's very very meaty um, and uh, very mild flavored, and, and I love it. And uh, this is one of my favorite dishes of, of how to prepare it. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take a little bit of just our, our basic black and Cajun season. Okay. And you just lightly season on top, and you don't have to dredge this stuff in it. Um, you don't have to just. You just want to get enough to cover yeah. it up. I mean, this stuff is spicy, so you know you don't really want to you know overdo it. Um, Unless you like spicy. Yeah. Well, you know if you like it like that, but it's, it's good. you'll get plenty on there and. When you're doing this, I, I prefer using a cast iron skillet. Um, and you don't need any grease because your cast iron skillet's already really seasoned up right. very well. Okay. And you can see um, I've already started one because they're nice and thick. And you want to go for you know just a couple of minutes on each side, and you'll get that nice that nice color on there. And that's where they get the turn black in on there because it gets that nice you know Cajun you know, or my, my good buddy West Step says Cajunized. 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 I love him. So that you know and that's a that's a word that we invented down there in, in <laughs> Kelly's one day. Okay. Uh, but you're going to let this go for about five or six minutes on each side. Uh, you don't want to cook this all the way through because cobia... You keep it at a high heat? Yeah, at a high heat and let, let it go. Uh, you don't want to cook it all the way through because it'll get dry. Mm. So you want your fish to be moist. So you want about medium to medium well. So you want about, about 140, 145 degrees. Okay. Okay? So we're going to uh, also, we're for our sauce, on our etouffee, which means to... Oh, my... Mother. Mother. That's right. Mother, okay. like you just told me. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're going to take a rag. And remember, because I will burn you. All right. Always grabbing a rag. And we're just going to take a little shrimp, okay? Add some shrimp in there. Mm-hmm. Shake her up. Shake her up. Woo! Look at her go. Am I, am I a good shaker? Look at her, Chris. Am I a good shaker? She's a pro! Yeah? She's going to burn me. She's going to land one of those shrimp on my head. <laughs> no, no, never that. That's awesome. A little bit more of our Cajun spice. Let it rip. Okay. Woo! You know, you, I got to get this. I got I got to do I two hand shaking. I made ATF and I helped. Come on, flip it. Oh what my God! Doing? Flip it! I'm gonna flip it. Gotta on. flip it the other way. Okay. Oh my gosh! I gotta put some mu more muscle in it. You know, I'm trying to be conservative right now. You're doing great. You're doing great. Okay, so look. So we're smelling so, great. And these things cook really, really fast. Mm -hmm. And we've got our our base for our sauce already over here. Okay. And uh, and this is just the you know the trinity, which is peppers, onions, celery. And any good Cajun will tell you that's true. We got some crawfish tails in there. Mmm. Some cream. Gumbo or some gumbo fillet. Mm -hmm. Keep shaking. Some sarsaparilla. Yeah, shake it all up. All right. Yeah. Oh, I like the way that's cooking. Etouffee just means basically the smothers, just a real thickened, reduced sauce. When I think of etouffee, I just think of good, yummy. Absolutely. That's pretty much yeah. how, as far as I get. Right? <laughs> and this uh, this puppy's ready to come together. So we're going to uh, we're going to pull this thing together. We're just going to come together with uh, some beans and rice here. Look at my, my my beautiful little spoon I just pulled out of there. That's a beans and rice spoon. You've probably never seen one of them before. <laughs> Whatever works. <laughs> Collars because that just you gotta have some green. That just makes it go. And we'll take our cobia and pop it right there. All right. And then we'll take our sauce. You mind? All right. I trust you. Sure. All right. I trust you, but. 
But yeah, it's probably better. I've been burned. See, look at you. How I've you been burned before. Just want to lay it right on top. Look at that. Mmm, that I mean, is that's looking what, good. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, this is easy stuff. You know what I say? If it's hard, it wouldn't do it. Go, Chris. Look at him. Chris, ready, trying to put his hands a, on the food. He is a pro. He is already trying to put his it. hands on the food. <laughs> that will be there, Cotton Southern Bistro, this weekend. That will right. also be on our Father's Day buffet in Chesapeake. Okay, so you can All get it at two locations. Long. You can go twice the fun. Twice the fun. So two, two. tomorrow, the grand opening. What time is that again? Seven a.m. Seven a.m. Nice and come early. Come have us. Come see us for breakfast. I will tell you, Hilltop is beautiful. We have worked very hard. Come check you guys out. A lot of surprises out. in that place. All right, a I can't wait to cool hear you. Stuff. You're going to give us some of the the inside scoop on those surprises we'll a little talk, bit later on we'll talk when we come back. It. Okay, I'm, I'm going to work on him. Get some of those surprise answers. We're back now in the kitchen with Chef Jeff Brown, who's making lots of noise. He's from Cotton Southern Bistro, and it's time Rabbit for pants. Some Cotton Southern cocktails. We've got our nice, you know, black and cobia done, and then we have this nice little spread working over here. Yeah. Because we need something to wash it down with. Right. For sure. Something nice. Something nice, nice, a cool drink. Yes. You, kn you know why I'm here, right? Right. For the watermelon. No, I'm here because you interrupted my legal matters. So, I'm so, so I've never made a peep. You I've haven't. I've never made a peep. Because you interrupted That's my legal matters. That's because you were talking about my shaking skills. Somebody was calling you know? me. Somebody yeah, was calling me. Okay. I'm like, quit calling me. And I All right. This. Prove to us that you can mix a drink. Come okay. on. I've done this before. He's doubting you. Okay. He's doubting you. We're going to do three things. First thing we're going to do, we're going to do our cotton spike tea. This is a, a nice, refreshing summertime cocktail to have lounging on the patio or in the Florida room Ooh. for you Floridians. Uh, ice, very important, right? We've learned that during the break. There is, there is bad ice. Bad ice. Okay, I know. I've never heard of that this before. This is pure ice coming from glaciers. All right. So it starts off with Worst the good thing. ice. You've got to have good ice. Okay. Okay. Crushed ice. All right. We, uh, we're going to start off with uh, some fireball, fireball, okay? About two ounces of fireball. So okay? that's about... We're going to do two ounces, about a four count, okay? Okay. Then we're going to start off with some uh, fire flat, sweet tea vodka. Um, this is all just, sweet you know, tea real, vodka. Yeah, real easy stuff. That. That's, and that's going to get, of course, that's going to give me some problems. <clears throat> it's just dripping. Because that's what it does on TV. And that's just what we do. And we we'll make just it, pour it in. And we just make it work mm -hmm. on TV. You give it about two ounces of that, bop, 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 bop. Two count? Can you hand me my sweet tea over there, sweet pea? Sure. Thank you so much. Give me a pour. Just fill it to the top? A little bit less. Come on. Right about there? Keep right coming. about there, right there? There. Right there. Okay. Boom. Then we're going to grab our mint. We got some fresh mint. I'm going to grab some fresh mint. We'll just take some leaves, pour them on in there. Just this stir. is very nice. This has got a little bit of a cinnamon kick, and it certainly has got that nice sweet tea flavor to it. Garnish. So that's the spike. Yeah, garnish with a lemon, a little cinnamon stick, or you know whatever you want. To, you know, nice refreshing. Yeah, drink. it's very nice, very nice. Nice evening. Chill absolutely, out. absolutely. Take a couple sips. Yeah, real easy stuff. Okay, what else we got going on? This is my new favorite drink in the whole wide world. Shanties. All right, Lemon, more ice. Lemonade Shanties. beers. Lemonade, lemonades, 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 lemonade Perfect beers. Perfect for the summer. Perfect for the summer. Lemonade beers, lemonade liquors, lemonades, lemonades, lemonades. Okay. Uh, Lana Kugels. Right, we're popular. We're fans of these around the show. Uh, they have, you know, this is a lemonade flavored beer. So we've got this, and I'm certainly a fan of this. We'll see if this is going to work for us. A little bit of that. Let's what see is if it? this pour works. This is a, uh, this is a peach flavored bourbon. Mm. This is a super nice stuff. Bird so dog. you really like how that goes with the lemonade, huh? Bird dog. If you're going to be bird dog, then you're going to have to be a be, be bird dog. You got to add a little bit more. A little mint. bit more mint in there. Certainly nice. Tear it up a little bit, and you, all, you don't, don't really want to chop because it releases oils. So do you want to eat the mint, or you just want it in there, let yeah. it soak? Yeah, it's good. Okay. You know they put it in toothpaste for a reason. True. Because it tastes good. So you good. Know that minty fresh breath. It's delicious. Those are nice. Now, here comes something I'm very excited about. All this right, is this the, is a, the, the finale. This is I've never tried this before. So. Oh, this is just for us. Right. Y'all think that I. Smart person, I'm not. You give yourself too much credit. <laughs> I'm excited about this. All right, all right. I've been asking my staff for months. Ooh. This is like this. This is a special surprise you've been alluding to. I'm really show. excited about this. I said I want a layered drink. A layered drink. Okay, so it's with gonna be colors. like stacked. Okay, with colors. You follow me? Colors. 
stacked layers. Right. So oh. you suppose you pour this. What is this that? is kiwi syrup. Ooh. Okay? That. We're gonna pour this over the back of this thing. You want it to kind of slide in. Right. Mm-hmm. Let that settle. We're gonna let it settle. For some reason, I What's really think... What's the trick to a good layered drink? I think you're supposed to pour it over the back of the spoon without the ice, but I think we're going to be okay. <laughs> It'll just trickle down. We'll just let it trickle down. There's no rules. As long as it tastes good going There's in. no rules, yeah. except for one. You well, we do want this to... You've you got to wear a shirt. Thing. Okay. That's it. You cannot come without a shirt. Lemonade. All right. Concentrated. A little bit thicker, but lighter than the syrup. Okay. So that's going to sit There's right on top? science involved here. Right. Boom. On top. Oh my god. And finally, this is gonna happen. drum roll. What's next? Watermelon juice. Ooh, we like watermelon juice. Good night, so, this is the though. first time you did this? Ever. Wow. This is the first time this has ever been done on the planet, as far as I know. That's not true. Shush it. Yes. And you'll be serving these up this weekend for you Father's Day. Be quiet, Day. Reckland, because that just <laughs> happened. Look at that. It Bam! Was fancy. All right, so. We've got a lot of things going on. We've got some great drinks. If you want to check out some of these drinks, you want to get some black and cobia. Cobia? You want a drink with a watermelon on yes. the side of it? He's man to see. He's you gonna want make it with special. Men in it? Special just for you. It's nice. All right. So tomorrow you've got your grand opening going on. That's uh, at Hilltop. Hilltop. And then this weekend for Father's Chesapeake. Day, if they want to check you out, Chesapeake. Um, you, you can visit them at one of your city? Call us. Open up one over there too. Dot com. And you can give them a call. The Chesapeake location at 609-3156. And in Virginia Beach, this is the brand new spot for right. all you people out there in Virginia Beach. You want to get a taste of Chef Jeff Brown's cooking and his cocktails? You can call them at 961-6474. Thanks so much. Please come fun. see me.